Hello. Today I want to talk to you about video recording and especially about audio in video. Because if you look um, certain channels in YouTube about how to make the perfect YouTube videos, people very often will tell you it's the audio that counts. And it's true, if you have an audio with very bad quality, you don't want to watch this video. But if the audio quality, quality is fine, then you have mastered a crucial part of your video. Well, and this today is about a new microphone I got and I would like to introduce it to you right after this. Okay, let's talk microphones here. You know, I use usually the Smart Mic Plus, but I got now my hands on the Audio Wow. And so I don't have to sketch those microphones anymore. Here are both of them. On the right side, the Smart Mic Plus, and on the left side, the Audio Wow. Actually, when I looked uh, at the pictures on the internet, I thought the Audio Wow would be bigger, but uh, it's quite small, which is good. And uh, it also has a very good build quality. I like that too. Let me show you. Okay, nice catwalk. Okay, let's talk about the audio. Wow. So, I got something from my friend Denning Chan, and it's this the audio. Wow. It looks really tiny and actually when I saw it in the videos and so on, I thought it would be much bigger. But, but this one is so tiny, so unobtrusive that you won't have any problems with that. So the interesting thing is, what I want to test just now is if this audio now also works with the Smart Mic Plus app because that would be great because you can record interviews with your Smart Mic Plus when or when, when you have two Smart Mic Plus but, but I have only one and maybe because this is of the same company and there is a good compatibility between these two microphones maybe it also works in the smart mic plus app so i'm recording this with, with the smart mic plus app so this is actually my first test outside of the audio wow app that i will show you later let's have a look okay it actually works as i thought it would work because this is seven tech and seven tech always seems to have very intelligent solutions. So what does that do? This is now two different channels. So this is the Smart Mic Plus channel. It will be one side of the stereo. And this is the Audio Wow. And that will be the other side of the channel. You can realize it when I just <laughs> blow on this one. And now I'm blowing on the other side. Okay, that might be... <laughs> Maybe this was a little bit disturbing for you. But you see, it works with both microphones. So there are now the possibilities of interviews for me. And um, my wife and I, I'm, we are doing a podcast. So 
I see us using this for our podcast and that's really great. I'm not sure if the audio wow already has effects on. I didn't check that before, so maybe there are effects on now. You can turn them off, but you have to start the app before, program your audio wow, and after that you are fine to go. Because that is the big difference between the Smart Mic Plus and the Audio Wow. The Audio Wow is a microphone with built in sound card. There's an equalizer and all that stuff built in. A lot of functionality that you will see comes from the microphone itself and not through the app. And that is actually very important because in that way you can just set it up as you want it. Maybe you want some reverb in your recording or you want more noise reduction. Then you can do that. You can program that with the app before and then Audio Wow will just work fine with maybe uh, the Smart Mac Plus app or other apps you are using it with. You can also set it up in a master slave mode. That's now called send and receiver mode. That means that this one is the microphone and uh, it sends what it, uh, its input via Bluetooth to your Smart Mic Plus. And then you can go directly into the input jack of the 3.5 millimeter uh, audio in with a TRS interface and that works really fine. You can also go to TRS or, uh, if you want to use a, a professional camera, DSLR or whatever. That's no problem as long as you have a microphone input jack. Okay, we are in the Audio Wow app now and I'm recording with the Audio Wow and I could have some effects on, but I don't think so, no. Only a slight noise reduction, that's fine. So, that's very important for our video here because I would like to show you what this microphone can do. So, the functions of the app actually are only to enabling your audio wow sound card to do its thing. So most of the functions that you experience with this come from this microphone and that's the difference between the audio wow and the smart mic plus. The smart mic plus does its thing as a wireless microphone. That's its job and it is really a good microphone. I'm really using very often. And then Audio Wow. Audio Wow is also a microphone, but that's only one part of it, because the other part of it is that it is also a sound card. And that sound card means that you can just adjust it here, for example, um, some reverb or more reverb or much more reverb, three different levels, back to only zero and a slight noise reduction. I think this is important because for uh, just a speaking video you don't want to have reverb. But sometimes you record a podcast and then you want to say maybe something like right after this like I do in my normal videos without the reverb effect. Yeah, all the effects come from this sound card. So the the app, the Audio Wow app is only there to you know, to, to make the adjustments you want to see. 
and the rest is done inside the microphone. And that's the main difference. I only a microphone and this is a microphone with a sound card and all the effects that are possible. I will show you some of these effects. Actually, as, a, as someone who just does talking in videos, I might not use that these functions that often, but it's at least it sounds a little bit funny. Okay, this um, should be a male voice effect. So maybe I sound uh, deeper, I don't know. Now I can... Give my voice a female touch. Sometimes this is very important. <laughs> and then there are different others. I can't see it right now because I have, would have to look onto my phone. But that's uh, a third... No, it's not. Yes, yes, no, no. That's a third option. Uh, I guess it's... Baby, I don't know. And here's... A fourth option. Still don't know what that is, because I can't read it now, because I have to <laughs> use my phone as the camera. And then there is this robotic voice possibility that sounds like that. This is, how can I say it? It's fun. If you want to save a lot of time when you are an influencer or that, um, you uh, can just use that app and record your videos and you don't have to edit later, which might be really a good thing to do. So there are other things um, like that you can mix in background music and all that stuff. I might test that at another time. but. This is a function you also already had with the Smart Mic Plus. What I would like to test is the possibility to transcribe your phone when you are um, in a call. Because that is something when you are in sales is a very important part. Okay, what do I think about this? Well, I like it. I mean, I have to test it further and uh, especially the thing where you could um, transform your chords into written notes. But otherwise, I enjoyed using it as a microphone. It, I also tested it as a sender receiver combination with my smart mic plus i also tested it with the smart mic plus app where i use both microphones one as a uh, <coughs> interview microphone the other one as uh, the of the interviewer so there are quite good possibilities in this what i could imagine is that Sabintech gives you really an equalizer in the interface so that you really can adjust the microphone to your needs, what you really need. For example, there's this that people experience their own voice differently than when they listen it, uh, to it in a recording. That's because you hear yourself talking through the resonance of your body, your head. And if you could, you know, simulate that with an equalizer and maybe some more adjustments, then people would feel more comfortable listening to their own recordings. And so more people would go online with videos and all that stuff just because they love their voices. That would be great. But anyway, the potential of this microphone, Audio Wow, is really great. I like it and I keep you posted what I will use it for in the future. See you tomorrow.